Next, um, um, I'd like to welcome uh, Rolly Keating uh, to the stage in order to announce the runners-up and the winning team in the 2016 uh, BL Labs competition. Um, so Rolly Keating is the chief executive of the British Library. Um, he took the helm uh, of this uh, quite remarkable institution in uh, 2012, which was coincidentally um, the year that the British Library Labs um, started up. Uh, and it's been, I think, a really remarkable time for the library. Um, uh, we've, uh, uh, from my perspective, our ability to support and engage with um, digital content and data, uh, the, our ability to support and engage with researchers, and the way that we've strongly rooted um, that into our uh, strategy, um, into our uh, fundamental purposes, um, has been uh, 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 super exciting um, and uh, um, uh, you know, an important step uh, forward for, for the institution. So, so please uh, join me in welcoming uh, Roly Keating to the podium uh, to share a bit about his vision uh, uh, with us and present the 2016 uh, British Library uh, Labs competition uh, uh, winners. There you go. Very good, and uh, good morning. Uh, wonderful to see so many of you here. Thank you very much indeed, uh, Adam, for that introduction. Um, uh, you talked about the, the vision and purpose of the library, and you're absolutely right. We've, uh, I feel a special sort of kinship with what's been going on with the Labs project, exactly because it's been going on exactly the time I've been here, and it probably did influence the way we shaped our statement of vision last year, we called it Living Knowledge. Uh, and that talk, some of you may know about our mission to make our, our intellectual heritage accessible to everyone, and we mean everyone, uh, for research, inspiration, and enjoyment. And actually, we don't see those th three things as being mutually distinct. And there's a lot of inspiration and enjoyment in this project, uh, but of course, it is about advancing uh, research. And in Living Knowledge, which we published in January 15, um, we noted some of the trends that had begun to utterly transform our business, even over the previous five years. And although our 2020 vision, published at the beginning of the decade, um, talked a lot about the digital transformation, I think the power of data um, by last year was so evident. We talk in, in there about a revolution in the creation, analysis, and exploitation of data in all its forms, and in particular, the role that libraries and library collections, and by extension, I guess, all digitized collections uh, can play in that. And it's already influenced what goes on in this building, not just the work of um, Adam and his team, uh, but the arrival on site here uh, late last year of the Alan Turing Institute. Already you can feel new sparks flying uh, as the cutting edge of algorithmic science collides uh, with the world's greatest heritage collection. So. Uh, a lot is happening in this area. It's very, very timely. Um, but of course, at the heart of it is the work, um, both of the digital research team and this BL Labs project. Um, a four-year journey funded, as you know, by the uh, Andrew W. Mellon Foundation. We're very grateful for them. I have been thrilled to see a whole new generation of researchers become engaged um, with our collections, but not just self-identifying or academic researchers, there are entrepreneurs, there are artists, there are educators who've been drawn into the web because of the sheer fascination of exploring, manipulating, analyzing vast uh, cultural data sets. Um, and of course, we work intensively with a couple of research teams a year, uh, but the real pleasure has been the explosion of interest uh, around that, always with the accent on making new things asking new questions, even finding new way to, ways to frame the questions. And just to give a snapshot, even of the last uh, year, I love lists of t statistics like this. Um, I, I'm particularly keen on the 5,000 miles traveled uh, there. Um, but you see that 18 institutions ago, engaged, 730 different researchers. Um, and down the bottom there, since we famously launched um, those million images onto our Flickr stream uh, back at, as a Christmas present to the world in uh, 2013. Uh, nearly half a billion views 
now, and those are not passive views. Many of them are adding data, adding annotation, advancing knowledge, even as they view uh, the content. So with that in mind, um, we don't want to stay still, and I'm delighted to announce that today we are uh, launching uh, a completely new uh, offer onto the web, uh, data.bl.uk, uh, which is part of our commitment to get out into the wild as much as we can in terms of openly licensed uh, data sets. I think we're starting, Mahendra, with 42 data sets today, about nine terabytes, but that will grow. Um, and this will cover all kinds. We're trying to get a full range there, of course, for a library. There's bibliographic data there, um, but text and data mining, uh, material that is useful and available for that. Uh, image analysis, uh, as we've seen with Flickr, uh, how enticing and valuable that can be. The UK web archive, uh, we are now collecting the web and we need to learn how to do more with that, extract sense from web archives at scale. Uh, and of course, mapping uh, as well. We're just uh, uh, three or four days in to our next great maps exhibition here. If you have any time today, do make it down for maps in the 20th century and apply, please, a data researcher, a data scientist's uh, eye to that. And because we know this will stimulate uh, conversation, we're also launching a cultural heritage data sets discussion list. So that is um, uh, a piece of news for today, and uh, my other bit of news today, uh, and a very pleasant one, is to announce, uh, not the Labs Awards, because I think those are gonna come later today, uh, but the finalists of the British Library Labs uh, competition. And uh, we have both finalist teams today, and I'm pleased to say in a moment you're going to hear full presentations, both very, very rich and wonderful pieces of work, uh, and it is an absolute pleasure to have them showcased uh, here at the library today. Um, the two finalist groups, uh, or finalist teams, it's Hannah Rosemary uh, from University of Nottingham uh, on black abolitionist performances and their presence in Britain. And uh, the other finalist team is Luda Zhao, Karen Wang from Stanford, Brian Doe from Harvard uh, with Sherlock Net using convolutional neural networks to automatically tag and caption uh, the British Library connection, uh, collection. Um, you will hear from both. There can, though, as is traditional in competitions, be only one winner. Uh, and so uh, it is my uh, pleasure to announce that the, if I click here, will this come up on screen? I will say who the winner is, and the winner is, it's brilliant, it's so digital. Which is it? It's Sherlock Net. okay, very good. So could Karen Luda and Brian Doe please come to the stage? I want to come up to the stage, so. Which way should they go up? Up there, very good, thank you. Yeah, sure, wherever you are. Uh, equally wonderful uh, runner-up on black abolitionist performances in their presence of Britain, Hannah, Hannah Rosemary. So please, please, please. Well done. Thank you so much. Here's your goodie bag. Very good. And Thanks. Hannah, you are going to take the stage, I think, and do your presentation uh, yes, now. Yeah. So I will uh, uh, hand the stage to Hannah to talk about her project. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, enjoy the rest of the day, and congratulations again to, again to both our finalists. Thank you.